is mine. Evo? A moment. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? Gods, Evo. I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Eivor, what a pleasure to see Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees and the water and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. Volka! Godzebo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. All these people you have brought here, this life you have built on these stranger shores, does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. 
You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Uh, salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? What, what, I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. Yes, and I can help. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little... What was that about? The spasm leaving us already. Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders. And you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. They are as they have always been. Little has changed. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. And I to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could. If you think it's worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed... This elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. Looks like something is happening near Volka's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. Ravens, Lord. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree.
There you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map if you would like to know what he has discovered. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. Leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. What have you got for me today? That all for now? I have to go. See you soon. See you later, A4. I have something new to show you. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. You are an excellent... 
excellent rider, Eivor. I would like to see what you have in stock. I'll see you later, friend. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it.
This place is heavily guarded. Andre mentioned this place, the last known location of the Summer Army. goes there a friend an ally what's the matter i'm looking for the summer army <laughs> camp leader is up top you can't miss him without weapons it's no way to die that's true christian behavior slaughtered us in our sleep What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskona. The Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. That is terrible. How were you ambushed? It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Aryasko Masuma. She bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet.
So many fallen Danes. They were fleeing as they fought. Wigman's wrath is as grand as it is swift. My thanks, the gods favor you. Longship. Dane markings. Ooh. Is your yard's corner nearby? Not here. Shroma dragged the sections east from the longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're still in fighting shape. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash. Wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. All his arms. Nine. Large. And fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah? Ah! 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 You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend and ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients? Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bina, Galin, Leif. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? What does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grand Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Granbridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Granbridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Long and hut, bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home.
What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we'll find them. Behind his shackles, wretched carrion beasts! I don't deserve this! Leave me! Run! <laughs> Galen, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fork, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side. I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I can't be stable with myself. With the blessings of Odin and Freya, I'll be feasting well with the gods. I've said that you Go there, Gary. Ada and I will find the others. As I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a pair that only Freya knows. a serious man, Galen. Yes, and a man of the gods. He carries them around in his mind as a tree bears its branches. It makes his mind heavy, but it keeps our spirits light, knowing the gods give us favor. I think. All scraped and bashed, it's hard to tell. Saxons, surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. Ah. Here's a poem about Vienna. Someone sweeping the hearth outside? 
We handle it just fine. Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Firna, I pitched a camp nearby, under a burning beacon. We'll meet you there when I've found the others. Thank you so much. And you as well, Sambi. Birna and Garlin. Like ice and fire, I'd imagine. <laughs> That's well spotted, yes. I like to see variety in the company I keep. They don't always get along. But they respect one another as warriors. Enough to fight beside one another. My thanks. Beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. They'll be grateful you risk your life to find them. I would be. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well warm. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Sona. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. 
My blade is yours. For Grand Bridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits. And at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. <laughs> 